This is Mount Marvelous. These are the rambly babblings of a middle-aged man. Because this is Bunsy's Vlog! Hurrah! Hello, and welcome to Bunsy's Vlog. Now, um, today... I want to talk about a a story that I saw <laughs> I saw in the news. It just made me giggle, and what it was was a hillbilly. Uh, I don't know if that's a politically correct term. Is it a politically correct term to call someone a hillbilly? I don't know. One of these people who's from the deep south of America, and uh, he got abducted by aliens. I oh, know. Imagine it. Someone from the deep south of America getting abducted by aliens. My name is Billy Bob Wilfred Jr. And uh, I was sitting there in that field and where all of a sudden there was a blinding light in the sky. So guess what? They experimented on them with strange alien probes, the like of which the world has never seen. Bang! I was hit over the head with some kind of strange alien contraption. It really, really shocked me because I thought to myself, Ooh, imagine that! A hillbilly getting abducted by aliens! That doesn't normally happen, does it? And then I thought, yeah it does actually. It happens all the time, doesn't it? Because whenever you hear about a UFO abduction or anything like that, it's always, it's always some bloke who looks like, you know, an extra in the cast of Deliverance, doesn't it? Quite often farming folk. Before I knew it, I was lying tied to some alien experimental room. I believe it was on a spaceship, but I'm not entirely sure. And I'm not exaggerating. If you don't believe me, look at some of the YouTube videos of people that have been abducted by aliens. Pretty much all the same. And then all of a sudden this little guy, he looked a bit like E.T. except it was bright purple. And he had a face like a vacuum cleaner. And he's all got his sort of like tufts of hair sticking out. And he did all kinds of experiments on me. And I don't know what he did exactly. But all I knew was the next day I woke up in a field and I was darn sore. And I think to myself, if I was an alien, you know, if I'd come to the planet Earth, I wouldn't land my spacecraft donk in the middle of sort of nowhere America and go and find the nearest hillbilly who's lying in a field drunk out of his mind on moonshine because I eat my moonshine because it's quite thick it's not like thin moonshine I've been brewing it for so many weeks clumps of hair missing pushing over cattle I wouldn't pick him as someone to sort of look out for the human race I know it's shocking isn't it you wouldn't be the top of the uh, alien abduction list I don't know if aliens exist or not. I've, I've never seen an alien. I, I've never seen a UFO. You don't believe in aliens. You don't know what you got coming to you when they come back and they do their probing. Because I tell you, I ain't ever been probed like they probe me before. I suppose if you think about it logically, chances are they probably do exist. Because it's more illogical that we are the only planet anywhere in space with sort of living creatures on it. Chances are there probably are some aliens somewhere. And I have no proof. And I'm not certain, so don't go, Oh, you said there's aliens, you're mad. I never said that. I've not met an alien myself. I know that's disappointing. I know you would have loved to have watched this vlog and love to have seen me going, I've got an alien here, do you want to meet him? There he is, he's called... But no. So who would I pick? If I was an alien, who would I pick? as kind of a good example of humanity. And I thought, well, maybe, maybe I'd pick Stephen Hawking. He'd be great, wouldn't he? Stephen Hawking, he'd tell you so much and he might even know more about the universe than I do. I'm obviously not saying aliens, listen to this, go and abduct Stephen Hawking. No, I'm not saying that. So please, Stephen, don't think I'm trying to get you abducted by aliens. Oh no, 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 no. I'm interested in this. Let me know in the comments below who would be good to do experiments on if you were an alien, who would you pick? Justin Bieber. I had never seen anything like that before and I hope it never happens again to my fellow man. I'd do experiments on him as an alien to find out if the entire human race are as annoying as Justin Bieber. <sighs> I'm just worried. I may be having an alien baby. So who would you pick as a, a good example of the human race to study? Join me again soon. Yep, the truth is out there in Kentucky. Bye. Bye.